Hey there, guys. Today is Free Ride Friday, so make sure you hang on to the end of the episode to see if you won the free ride, the free lifetime membership to the $100 MBA training and community. If you want to win a lifetime membership to the $100 MBA, just leave us an iTunes rating and review. Everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly random draw to win a lifetime membership to the $100 MBA. That's over 180 video lessons, interviews with experts, workbooks, our amazing private Facebook group with business builders just like you hustling to make it happen. It's our way to say thank you for listening to the $100 MBA show and showing us love on iTunes. All right, guys, let's jump into today's episode. $100 MBA show, the business podcast that breaks down your business overwhelm with easy to follow steps and strategies every single day with our daily 10 minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co founder of the $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. Today is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to those who are celebrating with families. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and thank you for taking a moment and including us in your day today by listening to The $100 MBA Show. Today, we have a very special episode. You will learn five things I learned from five people in 2015. I wrote a very, very popular blog post, one that got a lot of traction, and it was titled The Five Things That I Learned From Five People in 2014. I like to do this at the end of the year. And you can check that out in today's show notes. We'll put the link to that blog post in today's show notes. So I thought since we're wrapping up the end of the year that I would do a episode on the $100 MBA show on this topic, but this time it's for this year, 2015. Just to recap from the post back in 2014, I want to just give a quick shout out, quick thank you to those five people that taught me some things. Uh, I'll let you explore that blog post and discover what I learned from them. But the five people that I learned from back in 2014 was Noah Kagan, Michael Port, John Corcoran, Amy Hoy, and Chris Brogan. So check out the post to learn more about what I learned from them. But now it's the end of 2015. And I got five new people that I learned from this year. I can't wait to share them with you in today's episode. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by HostGator. HostGator is an all-in-one website hosting solution. Looking to launch your new website? There's no one better to go to than HostGator because they can help you out with your hosting, your domain services, SSL certificates, design, marketing, you name it. And they do it without breaking the bank. They're giving 25% off web hosting to all listeners of The $100 MBA Show. Just go to HostGator.com and use promo code OMARHOOKUP. Again, that's HostGator.com, promo code OMARHOOKUP. Those who know me well know that I'm observant. I'm an observant person. I really pay attention when somebody is talking to me, when I get to know somebody, and it's probably why I'm really good at imitations. <laughs> but I'm always looking for meaning. I'm always looking for details. I'm always trying to figure out what I can learn from somebody. How can I benefit? How can I find the fruits and the best of the person that I'm meeting? If I see someone exceptional at something, I don't hesitate to ask him or her how they got so good at that. I fully engage in that situation or conversation, or process. And that's probably because I can't multitask. I can't multitask for my life. And I guess to sum it up, I just love learning. If somebody makes me think about something in a completely different way, I respect them for life. And if they make me smile in the process, I become their evangelist. So in this past year, I've studied five people. They may not know that I've studied them, but I have. And I do this. I kind of admire certain people from afar. I kind of look at what they do. Many times these people become my friends. We become close and I learn a lot from them. And not only by the conversations we have, but also how they do business, how they live their life. So these five people right now are only discovering I was studying them right now on the show. They're realizing this right now. Um, I'll probably give them a shout out on Twitter. Now, before I begin, I want to just say these are in random order. This is not like the first person is the most influential person or the best person or anything like that. These are just five people that I've studied and really benefited from. And I'll show you what I learned from them. So the first person I want to mention is Jordan Harbinger. Jordan Harbinger is the founder of The Art of Charm. His podcast, The Art of Charm, is a killer, killer podcast. He's often in the top 30 podcasts in all of iTunes. And he's had a lot of success with his business and his show, obviously. 
Now, a lot of people don't know that Jordan started his podcast back in 2006, back when no one knew what a podcast was. So he really has been doing it for some time. Now, Jordan and I have become friends in the last year or so, and I find him to be quite generous. He's a very generous person. He's very giving. He's really helpful. And he's kind of gone through the podcasting path I'm going through right now already. So in a lot of ways, when it comes to podcasting, he's where I want to be in the near future. Now, I have had the pleasure of being on Jordan's podcast, The Art of Charm. It was a great experience. And we'll put that episode into today's show notes. But one of the reasons why it was such a great experience is Jordan was extremely prepared. When I say prepared, I mean... He knows what he's doing. He's been working at this so long. He took the time to get to know me first before we interviewed. We became friends. And therefore, the interview was so comfortable. I also asked him and noticed that in his podcast, he really does a lot of work preparing for his interviews, making sure that there's a pre-interview and that he gets the best out of his guest. Now, I don't have an interview show. We have a lesson-based podcast here on the Hunter MBA show. But he's shown me how preparation can really help the show and, you know, I've been really, really working on preparing our episodes a lot more in detail. I think I started this back in episode 200 or so. Now, I was preparing before, and I was really outlining the lessons very well, but then I started to prepare even more in advance. I take the time to spend more time researching the topic I want to discuss, and that research could just be my own experiences or my own data or the experiences of our students inside the $100 MBA. But the point here is, is that it really encouraged me to go really deep on research and really prepare for not only the podcast episodes, but also when I do webinars to really go through my presentation, to really make sure I'm prepared. So when I'm on the webinar, I feel confident I'm a pro and I give extreme value to the audience. It's very helpful when you have an example of a professional and you dissect why they're a professional, why are they successful? And that's what I did with Jordan. And for that, Jordan, thanks, buddy. Keep rocking it with what you do, man. The next person that taught me a huge lesson in 2015 is my business partner and my life partner, Nicole Baldino. Now, Nicole doesn't know that I'm saying this right now on the mic or I've recorded this, but one of the things I have a huge amount of respect when it comes to her, and I've been observing in the last year or so very closely because I really wanted to change this aspect about me. And that thing is, is that Nicole really puts a high priority on her own well-being and health. She understands that Her health is very important, that if her body is not doing well, that we're not going to be able to do well as business people, as people that are running a business, that you have to be healthy in order to work. And she has it as a priority in her life. It's just something that she has to do. And it's in moderation. She doesn't work out every single day of her life, but she makes sure she exercises at least four times a week. And she's very conscious of her diet, which is very important because what you put in your body will really affect your performance. And she's really influenced me to really think deeply about this. And this past year, I've become a lot healthier. I haven't gotten sick nearly as much as I used to. I'm exercising regularly. And even if we're traveling and we're busy, she'll take time out and we'll go for a walk, just getting our body moving. I've also been very conscious of my diet, what I'm actually eating. I've been cutting back on meat, trying to have it maybe once or twice a week instead of every single day. And that's helped me rest and sleep better because my body's not digesting while I'm sleeping. It's just sleeping and resting. So for me, that was just a huge gift because she's been a great example to me. She's been a great example of being balanced, of not being fanatical about your health, but at the same time, understanding that's a priority. Your body has a right over you and that you have to give it its right or you're going to pay the price later on. Maybe not immediately, but when you really need to be healthy, when you're doing a launch or when you're building your business or you're working on a project, You might fall ill because you just neglected yourself and you're working hard and your immune system's down and because you're not healthy, you're not eating right, you're not exercising, you're not able to recruit or you're not able to withstand all that pressure. So thanks, sweetie, for showing me that. That means a lot to me. Thanks for showing me that exercise and eating well takes a bit of time, but it's a huge investment, not only in your health, but also in the business itself. And it doesn't take that much time out in order to do those things. And because of you, I'm healthier and we're doing better in business. So that's awesome. All right. The next person that taught me a big lesson in 2015 is Jason Zook. Jason Zook is a buddy of mine. He uh, lives in San Diego as well. He probably became the fastest close friend ever had in my life, but we just clicked right away. But one of the things that Jason taught me, if you don't know Jason's work, check out jasondoesstuff.com. He's also the founder of Teachery and Buy My Future. 
But what he taught me was really profound. He reminded me that as an entrepreneur, I can create whatever business I want. I don't need to listen to anybody. I don't have to please anybody. We could do whatever we'd like. And Jason does that. He actually creates businesses. He creates products that suit his life, his lifestyle, the way he wants to live his life. He knows his values, having freedom, and being able to do things he wants when he wants to. And he makes sure that his business caters to those values. He made me really realign the way I think about business and see that as a top goal. Make sure that, you know, that we create a business that suits our values and the way we want to live life. Jason's also not afraid of failure. I mean, if Jason does stuff, he's going to fail, right? He's going to fail when you do things. It's just the nature of trying new things. And if things don't work out exactly the way he is expected, it's okay. He iterates, he improves, and he comes back like a champ. And the funny thing is, nobody really notices that you failed. And he taught me that huge lesson. So whenever I'm having challenges or I feel like I had a quote-unquote failure, I just remember some of the things that Jason has told me and taught me and realize most of the stuff that I tell myself is just in my head and it probably isn't perceived as a failure anyway. Jason, thanks so much for your friendship and your guidance and just being there whenever I need advice. You're the man, bro. All right, the next person that taught me a great lesson in 2015 is actually two people. I'm going to just put two in one. I'm cheating today. (laughs) And that's John Lee Dumas and Kate Erickson from Entrepreneur on Fire, two good friends of ours in San Diego, actually neighbors of ours. Not only do they have a very, very successful podcast in business, but they're very successful entrepreneurs. They have great products like Podcasters Paradise and many others. And what I learned from these two is that there's a lot that can be done with hard work. They're probably the hardest working people I've seen. You know, before I kind of got to know them, I thought Nicole and I were the hardest working people in town. But I think we met our match. I think they're just as hardworking. I'm not going to give you guys the edge. (laughs) But because they work so hard, they get a lot done and they achieve a lot. A lot of people ask John, okay, how do you get so much content out there? How do you do so many webinars? How do you do so many podcasts, release so many products? It's because they're serious about what they do. They're focused. They have a schedule. They get down to business. They do things and they're very disciplined. And I find that to be the hallmark of a lot of successful entrepreneurs is that discipline, is that focus. So I got to tip my hat to John and Kate over at Entrepreneur on Fire. You guys rock. And on a personal note, I got to thank John and Kate because they were the first people to welcome Nicole and I in San Diego. They were so sweet to have us over for dinner like the day we arrived. And we've become really good friends since. It just shows their humility and their kindness and their generosity. Thanks, guys. Hold down San Diego for us. Guys, I got one more person that has taught me something in 2015 I want to share with you. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, HostGator. HostGator.com is one of the best solutions when it comes to web hosting. That's why we use it for the $100 MBA and Webinar Ninja. They got 24-7 live support via phone, chat, or email. That means you can contact somebody any time of day, any day of the week, if you need any help with your website. They do hosting, they do domain services, they do SSL certificates, they do design services, they do marketing services, they do it all. And they do it all without breaking the bank. In fact, they're giving every listener 25% off. Just go to HostGator.com and use promo code OMARHOOKUP. Again, that's HostGator.com, promo code OMARHOOKUP. Guys, we're going a little long today, but I hope that's okay. It's a special episode. The last person I want to mention that has taught me something very significant in 2015 is Phil Rondazzo. Phil is the founder of American Dream U. You can check them out at AmericanDreamU.org. Now, I got to know Phil because I spoke at an an American Dream U event. Now, American Dream U helps the men and women in the armed services transition out of the military. When they leave the military, they kind of need guidance, and some of them want to become entrepreneurs. And that's why I spoke there, and that's why American Dream U steps in. 